These proposals absolutely will change. This, uh, the tax reform debate is really part of an evolution of ideas, if you will. You look back at the 1986 Act, but by some accounts that was a, a tax reform that took five, six years. If you could trace through all of the proposals that, that uh, predated the 1986 Act. The same thing is going on here. If you look at the House Blueprint, a precursor to that proposal is the 2005 Bush Tax Panel's Growth and Investment Tax. It's important that companies go back and look at these earlier proposals so they can get a better understanding of the potential impacts of the House Blueprint on them. And they can also think about what sort of uh, works, what sort of modeling they want to do to inform their decision making and their, their, uh, how they might want to try to modify these proposals in their conversations with uh, folks on the Hill. It's very important for the companies to do two things. They need to monitor and they need to model. Monitoring is important because these proposals are not static. We have the House Blueprint uh, is getting a lot of attention today. That proposal will likely evolve. The Senate will probably come forth with a proposal. The administration will have input into, obviously, this debate. And it's important for clients to keep track and follow all of these developments. Modeling is also very important. It's important for companies to understand the impact of the tax reform plans on their bottom line, uh, understand what's driving those impacts. That can be accomplished through modeling. Some of these proposals have been around for a while, but some of the proposals, some of the elements of the proposals are new, such as the border adjustments and the House Blueprint. Very familiar territory for those familiar with the European VATS, unfamiliar territory to a large extent in the U.S. One thing they can do is they can work through their trade associations in Washington. Their trade associations, well established in D.C., have a lot of contacts on the Hill. They've been following tax reform. They probably have a pretty good sense for how the House Blueprint, for example, would affect their industry. It would be very uh, constructive, productive, and probably not very resource intensive for them to call up their trade association and, and get, a, get a good start. The other thing they can do is model, using a simple modeling tool uh, with probably very little effort on their part can give them a head start in understanding the impact of the tax reform plans such as the House Blueprint on their bottom line and also understand what are the key drivers of something like the House Blueprint on that bottom line. And that's I think a critical uh, piece of information for them to have uh, in order to uh, develop their own position on the, something like the House Blueprint as well as think about planning opportunities and as well as um, advocating on tax reform.